Welcome back Future Medicos. In today's video, we are going to look at the seats that are available under Ministry of Defense quota. So we are going to look at how many MBBS seats or BDS seats available under the Ministry of Defense quota, how to apply, who can apply, where to apply, when to apply, what was the cutoff marks uh, the previous years. I don't have the data for last year, but I have the data uh, two years ago. So that will give you some idea. What were the colleges that were offering seats under this Ministry of Defense quota last year? I do not have the notification for this year yet, but I will show you the notification last year that will give you some idea. Okay, with that, let's go into the video. Now I'm right now on the website of Kendriya Sainik Board Secretariat, right? KSB, Kendriya Sainik Board, uh, which is basically coming under the Department of Ex-Servicemen Welfare, Ministry of Defense Government of India. You can see here on this website, online application for MBBS and BDS seats for widows and wards of categories of defense personnel under central pool quota. Okay, there is something called central pool quota. This is different from all India quota. This is central pool quota. There are certain seats that are pooled together under central pool quota. Various states or various colleges give seats to um, different ministries and these seats are grouped together under central pool quota. So in this video, I'm going to only talk about the Ministry of Defense that comes under the central pool quota. Of course, there are other ministries that come under central pool quota. I'm not going to talk about that. Now, basically online application is now open. Last date to apply is 29 September 2022. Okay, so you, are, you have left another about 10, 12 days left. So if you are interested in this category, quickly apply for this. Uh, seats right okay now what are the instructions who can apply okay so you can see here the scheme is open to Indian nationals only right that's okay before that instructions for applicants applying for reserved defense seats in medical or dental colleges as government of India nominee under Ministry of Defense quota 2022-23 okay so please remember uh, there may be some people trying to cheat you saying that, oh, seats were not filled in the ministry quota. So we can directly give you, okay? Please don't get uh, trapped or don't get cheated by anyone, right? No other authority can directly give you the seat. So if somebody tells you that they will give you the seat, which is free, which is uh, available, not filled in ministry quota, right? Generally, that doesn't happen. All these ministry quota very quickly fills up. And this can be applied only through proper channel. Don't just fall for a trap by getting an email or someone call you and then you are uh, specially selected, right? There is nothing like that. So this is only for candidates I'm going to talk about in this video. Others don't even think of these seats. Okay, scheme is open to Indian nationals only. Only wards, widows or wives of defense personnel from Army, Navy and Air Force from priority 1 to priority 9 are eligible for the scheme. Okay, very clear. Wards, widows or wives of defense personnel. What is priority 1 to priority 9? I will explain that shortly. Selection of candidates for central seats reserved for Government of India nominee will be made based on the NEET score. Okay, candidates who do not qualify the NEET should not apply. Is very clear. Once again, even under this quota, if you have not passed, you cannot get a seat. Wards of civilians or civilians working in Armed Forces Headquarters or Ministry of Defense or DRDO. Uh, wards of personnel from paramilitary, CAPF are not eligible. Okay, if you are civilians, you are not eligible. This facility is available for only one member of the family once in lifetime. Okay, this is some kind of doubt. A few parents have asked me whether um, two uh, children from the same family can apply for um, Ministry of Defense quota or ex-servicemen quota. As far as Ministry of Defense quota is concerned, this facility is admissible for only one member of the family once in lifetime. So if in case if your brother has used it, your sister has used it, you cannot apply anymore. Candidate should have attained the age of 17 years on 31st December. Okay, this is uh, something understood. 
son of servicemen or ex servicemen who are more than 25 years of age are not eligible okay if you are more than 25 years you cannot apply you don't qualify anymore daughters if married and are not dependent should not apply okay daughters uh, if they are married they cannot apply or if they are no more dependent on the serviceman or ex servicemen they also cannot apply applications by eligible candidate will be submitted online on ksb website i will show you where is the application i will show you there you can apply you cannot apply anywhere else you should apply only in kendriya sainik board website which is ksb.gov.in okay remember this is a government website ksb.gov.in okay these are the documents that are needed at the time of counseling at the time of registration you don't need all these documents but at the time of counseling you need all these documents with four passport size photograph so look at all these i'm not going to to go through each of those there are many documents you can go through for example on the right hand side you can see which priority you are qualifying for example here this is priority 1 and priority 3 if you are applying under either priority 1 or priority 3 this document is needed which is deceased soldier certificate or book issued by the record office and cert service particulars book for officer okay this is needed if you are applying under priority 1 or priority 3 right if you are applying under any other priority priority 2 4 5 you don't need this document okay right let's go down now let's let's try to understand what is the priority as i told you there are priority 1 to priority 9 so priority 1 is widows or wards of defense personnel killed in action okay they are killed in action then priority 2 wards of disabled in action and boarded out from service okay the first one they are no more the second one they are disabled in action so they are priority 2 now what is priority 3 widows or wards of defense personnel who died while in service with death attributable to military service priority 1 those who are killed in action here they are died but their service or their death is attributable to military service priority 4 disabled in service and boarded out with disability attributable to military service priority 5 wards of ex servicemen and serving personnel who are in receipt of gallantry awards like paramvir chakra ashok chakra and so on priority 6 wards of ex servicemen right they are not working but they are ex servicemen priority 7 wives of defense personnel disabled in action and boarded out from service or defense personnel disabled in action and boarded out with disability attributable to military service ex servicemen and serving personnel who are in receipt of gallantry awards right wives of these three category they come under priority 7 priority 8 wards of serving personnel priority 9 wives of serving personnel so that is the priority and remember seats will be provided according to the priority the higher the priority your chances of getting a seat is higher okay initially priority 1 will be given the highest priority only when there are not enough priority 1 candidates then priority 2 will be considered and after considering priority 2 if still seats are vacant then they will be considering priority 3 and so on okay so the first level of um, ranking is based on priority and within the priority need score will be used to rank the candidates now please take note that you need to get an eligibility certificate if you are applying under uh, this ministry of defense quota so eligibility certificate will be recommended by the zswos of the individual soldier uh, airman sailor jco officer and countersigned by director rsbs in case of serving personnel who come under priority 5 7 8 and 9 the eligibility certificate to be signed by only co or oc unit or oic records okay i i do not know all this uh, uh, what exactly it means i believe if you are from military you should know okay as i said merit list will be prepared priority wise and within each priority as per the need score now what are the documents that needs to be uploaded with the application form okay these are the documents that you need to get it ready now you need the 10th mark sheet you need the 12th mark sheet you need the need score card you need the eligibility certificate you need the self attested photocopies of education entitlement card latest pension payment order special liberalized family pension battle 
casualty certificate and so on right you can look at what exactly is this and then um, get these documents ready and finally you need a passport size photograph okay so those are the uh, information that you need to understand for applying under the ministry of quota through the kendriya signing board anyway i will leave a link to all these documents in the description below you can open and then try to understand yourself in much more detail now this is the eligibility certificate as i said uh, you can um, get this you need to uh, paste a passport size photograph which has to be attested and then uh, this has to be issued by the respective people right is it as b or co oc unit and so on right uh, you can see this now let's look at uh, what are the colleges that offered seats under the ministry of defense quota last year okay last year you can see here lady hardinge medical college new delhi two seats were available cmc velur one seat available uh, sk medical college nalanda medical college an magad medical college all from bihar uh, has offered one seat each uh, hazari bag medical college jharkhand has two seats offered government medical college alappura in kerala three seats then madhya pradesh we have gandhi medical college and nscb medical college offered one seat each chatisgarh uh, lieutenant shri balram kashyap memorial medical college one seat has been given uh, from rajasthan rnt medical college and government medical college kota has two seats each up uh, mln government medical college allahabad has one seat west bengal north bengal medical college located at darjeeling has given one seat then kerala has a lot of seats government medical college tiruvananthapuram government medical college kolikot government medical college kotayam all has given three seats each and then government medical college trishur kerala also has given two seats so nearly like 11 seats has come from kerala uh, west bengal uh, burdwan uh, medical college has given one seat bs medical college has given one seat dumka medical college in jharkhand has given one seat maulana azad medical college from delhi has given one seat sms medical college from rajasthan has given one seat so totally 36 mbbs seats were available last year under ministry of defense quota and then bds there were three seats available one seat from post graduate institute of dental sciences haryana and then two seats from chandigarh uh, from dr harvansh singh judge institute of dental sciences and hospital so totally under the ministry of defense quota there were 36 mbbs seats and 3 bds seats last year now finally let's also look at the cut off marks for ministry of defense quota unfortunately i don't have the data for 2021 and 22 but i have the data for 2020 21 that is 2 years ago so this may not be perfect but this will give you some idea about the expectations you can have in terms of the seats available under this category as i told you initially the priority one candidates will be given seat okay so priority one candidate starting as high as 573 marks now as you come down 573 513 and so on right you can see that the score keep on coming down and finally uh, 15 candidates were given seats under priority one and the last candidate to get a seat was 129 marks so basically uh, if you have passed neat and if you come under priority 1 your seat is more or less guaranteed of course this year it may change but looking at how the seats have been gone in 2020 most likely it will be very similar if you have passed and if you are coming under priority 1 the chances are extremely high now priority 2 in that particular year there were no candidates under priority 2 so no seats were allotted then priority 3 comes in priority 3 you can see again from the highest need score to lowest need score seats will be allotted the highest need score was 598 marks and then as we come down right 310 287 and finally 164 marks right uh, 29 that is 14 candidates have got under priority 3 right priority 3 there were 14 candidates and the last score was 164 then priority 4 comes that means there there were no more candidates under priority 1 priority 2 priority 3 everyone who has applied they have got a seat then comes priority 4 in priority 4 again 557 was the first score and then as we come down um seats were allotted until 493 score 
right so in priority 4 it was very competitive uh, there were only about uh, how many 29 plus 8 8 candidates have got a seat under priority 4 which means priority 5 6 7 8 9 they all don't have a seat because seats have finished by the time priority 4 candidates have come 37 MBBS seats were available in 2020 last year only 36 okay this year we do not know it may be higher or it may be lower and then finally there were three BDS seats all the three BDS seats were allotted under priority 4 and the need score started at 370 and closed at 230 for BDS so total allotment 37 MBBS and 3 BDS. Now let's come back to the um, original website and then see where to apply for these seats, right? You come here, you can click this and come down here, you can see here apply online, okay? If you come to this website, I will provide a link to this website. Here you can see format for eligibility certificate, instructions for applicants, uh, priority, right? All these are given here, you can go through. If you want to apply, you can apply here. Apply online, you click this and then this is the online application you need to fill. You need to upload photo, you need to fill the details, right? Whether you want to apply only MBBS, only BDS or you want to apply both. Ideally, right, if you want only MBBS, choose this or you can choose both MBBS and BDS also, right? Then enter all the details properly, right? According to your records, uh, 12th educational details, neat educational details, choice of seat, right? What is your uh, um, seat, uh, priority one, priority two, and priority three in terms of um, medical or dental colleges, choice of states basically, right? I don't think you can select the specific uh, colleges, choice of states for medical or dental colleges in order of priority. Say for example, if you are interested in Kerala, you can put priority one, Rajasthan, you can put priority two, then maybe say Tamil Nadu, right? If you are interested in CMC Velour, you can put priority three right up to you right whichever priority you want you need to upload the neat mark sheet eligibility certificate uh, and so on right look at all those and then finally enter the uh, verification code and submit it okay so just follow this um, anyone who is eligible this is a good chance for you to get a seat so don't miss this sometimes these kind of seats uh, people don't know and then they miss it so please in case you may not be eligible for this but just share this video with your friends or just let them know in case someone is interested in ministry of defense quota okay let's create the awareness so that the seats don't go waste and it reaches the people who deserve this right if someone has given their life to this country their children deserve these seats let's support them right and let's salute those who have served our country thank you bye bye